Imagine, a teacher demands you stay after class. Your heartbeat starts to race and sweat trickles down your brow. You know it. You've been caught. The research paper you turned in wasn't your own. You carelessly lifted passages from other authors. You paraphrased whole sections without citations. In short, you have been caught plagiarizing. At some point in almost every student's life, we have slacked off on a paper or project. Some have consciously plagiarized, while others use unreliable sources. Much of this can be attributed to a lack of understanding credible research databases. Florida State College at Jacksonville's library databases are credible and organized and very simple to navigate. There are informed librarians on campus and on the web eager to answer any questions you have. Any student's research and work will improve due to using FSCJ's resources. We hope, we hope to persuade students to utilize Florida State College at Jacksonville's library centers and research materials. We will encourage students to understand why campus libraries are credible, how to use these databases most effectively, and how it can benefit a student's academic career. We will begin by informing you of how crucial the damage of plagiarism and unaccredited data can be on an academic career. Plagiarism and using unreliable sources poses a great threat to students. The Harvard Guide to Using Sources states that in academic writing, it is considered plagiarism to draw any idea or any language from someone else without adequately crediting that source in your paper. It doesn't matter whether the source is a published author, another student, a website without clear authorship, a website that sells academic papers, or any other person. Taking credit for anyone else's work is stealing, and it is unacceptable in all academic solutions, whether you do it intentionally or by accident. Students think of plagiarizing as simply copying word for word. But according to an article by Ella McCormick, how prevalent is plagiarism on campuses? Splicing sentences from different sources together, changing original words, or not citing a source are all forms of partial plagiarism. Plagiarism has dire consequences to students' academic careers. In Florida State College in Jacksonville's Students' Rights and Responsibilities Catalog, there is a clear guideline in dealing with plagiarism. Any student alleged to have committed any act of academic dishonesty, as defined herein, shall be entitled to due process prior to the administration of disciplinary action, including suspension and dismissal. Beyond ending your academic career, Plagiarism can also negatively affect a student. Ellen McCormick's article goes on to state, Plagiarizing does not help students in the long run. They go through their studies without mastering the material, which places them at a disadvantage in their career. They also get used to succeeding through deception and thus lose both moral integrity and trustworthiness. Students who do not plagiarize but use non-credited sources are still at a disadvantage. Technology is at our fingertips. What student hasn't logged into Wikipedia or Google to search for an assignment? College classrooms will not accept Wikipedia as a credible source as anyone can edit the website's content. However, this often doesn't stop students from using it. Also, students rely on the use of Google. The data available on Google just simply does not compare to the academic resources at our library. Professor Tara Brabazin from the University of Brighton states, I ban my students from using Google, Wikipedia, and other websites like that. I give them a reading list to work from and, ex and expect them to cite a good number of them in any work they produce. She goes on to say, young people are finishing education with shallow ideas and needed to learn interpretive skills before starting to use technology. Now that you have learned the consequences of plagiarizing and ineffective research, it is time to look at Florida State College at Jacksonville's research database. You can steer clear of plagiarizing and unreliable resources by using FSCJ's library database. FSCJ's South Campus librarian, Barbara Salvage, encourages any student to start research at the library. You know that our body of work has been accredited. It is reputable and it can be used in any assignment. Once students have logged into their FSCJ account, they will find a category, College Website Links. 
Then under personal is search library materials at FSCJ. The first link a student might want to examine is the Library Learning Commons Home. Here on the left, students can find all different locations, phone numbers, hours of operation, and any policies the libraries uphold. FSCJ has locations at four campuses and three learning centers. The wealth of knowledge awaiting students is vast. The June 30th, 2011 CCLA report states, users have access to the Florida State College of over 170,000 titles, over 200,000 book volumes, and an audiovisual collection of over 19,000 items. Also, registered users have access to ebook titles and research databases through the Florida State College at Jacksonville Library Learning Commons Collections. After you feel familiar with the basics of Florida State College at Jacksonville's library system, we encourage you to click again the Search Library Materials at FSCJ. Here is where you will find three indispensable research categories, hard copies of books, ebooks, and an array of article databases. Once you click the Limit To drop-down box, your search can begin. Students may choose between audiobooks, articles, ebooks, audiovisual material, books, or all items. If these searches are bringing up too many resources, fear not. On the top of this page, you can search under databases by subject. Clicking this link will let you decide between subjects such as health and medicine, literature, or sciences, just to name a few. Once you click the preferred subject, a multitude of databases will be revealed. Pick the most relevant to your search and click. For example, we were researching obesity in children, we may choose the health and medicine box. Then pick health and wellness resource center at Gale database. From there, we will be brought to another search engine. Put in obesity in children. Click full text articles and viola. More information is unfolding at your fingertip. Here, you have the option of searching through books and fact sheets, magazines and journals, drugs and herbal remedies, pamphlets, the media, and the news. Once you have opened an article, on the left, there are easy symbols to help you print, email, download, or just view the file as a, as a PDF. Another amazing feature under the Search Library Materials section is the Ask a Librarian feature of the site. You can choose to chat with a librarian, text, or email them. The site's hours are listed as Ask a Librarian is a free online service that allows Florida residents to chat or text with a librarian for immediate assistance from 10 a.m. until midnight Eastern Time, Sunday through Thursday and from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Friday and Saturday. Over 100 librarians across Florida provide this service for their own library and others in the state. It is not a robot. This will be a real-life librarian helping to answer any questions. Normally, it only takes a few minutes to have your questions answered, but the wait time can increase if they are swamped with questions. An excellent feature of this option is after the chat, you are given the option to view and or save the session. Thus, you can keep all the librarian's suggestions safe. Now that we have addressed the different resources available, let's investigate how they will enhance your academic career. Students who use the library for research will have an advantage over their peers. Your work will be credi more credible and meaningful. Using research material from the library can be viewed as superior to that of basic internet searches for multiple reasons. Librarians have hand-selected the research materials. They have already been screened and accredited for you. Instead of wondering how credible your latest Google search is, you will know that it has been selected by a knowledgeable librarian. 
These databases are much more li likely to be fact-checked, thus eliminating the worry of a source's credibility in your assignments. According to Bill McDonald, a librarian of Port Charlotte, Florida, journal articles are almost always written by professionals in their, in their respective fields. This may or may not be the case with Internet services. Bill also goes on to state, good research should come from a variety of sources, the Internet, journal databases, and books. As we have previously mentioned, plagiarism is an unethical use of others' words or thoughts without proper citation. Many times, this can come from a lack of understanding how to effectively research topics. By making the effort to get to know your librarians and research materials waiting for you, it is more likely you will steer clear of conscious or unconscious plagiarisms. Learning to effectively research and cite others' works properly will help you beyond college. You will not just receive high marks and feel lost after college. The knowledge you gain can help within any given career choice. Bill McDonald also states that, although the database can at times be more work and require more effort than just grabbing words off the internet, it will help you to retain the information and understand the material much more. Certainly, there is much more we can cover regarding Florida State College at Jacksonville's comprehensive library system. But in this short allotted space, we hope to have reshaped your vision of independent research. The next time you go to simply Google an assignment, please, we implore you to log on to your connections and click search library materials at FSCJ. There is an, extens an extensive and monumental amount of information waiting. We hope you have a grasp of the serious consequences plagiarism and ineffective research can have on an academic career. The librarians at FSCJ truly care about their work and how it benefits the student body. And now we will leave you with a quote by a famed scientist, Carl Sagan. The library connects us with the insight and knowledge painfully extracted from nature of the greatest minds that ever were, with the best teachers drawn from the entire planet and from all our history to instruct us without tiring and to inspire us to make our own contribution to the collective knowledge of the human species. I think the health of our civilization, the depth of our awareness about the underpinnings of our culture and our concern for the future can all be tested by how well we support our libraries.